The pandemic locking billions of people across the world in their homes, but it didn't stop the scourge on society that is Christian persecution. It made it worse, taking on new forms, including refusing much needed aid to the faithful. Very early on, there definitely was reports. We had reports out of India, reports out of, uh, of Pakistan, and reports out of parts of Africa talking about the disparity in treatment. Governments blame access to certain communities. However, Ed Clancy with Aid to the Church in Need, a Catholic organization fighting Christian persecution, raises a good question. Why is it that these Christian communities seem to be, you know, the ones that are suffering more when it comes to not receiving government aid? Uh, in Kaduna, they say it's about, one, in certain towns, one-fifth the amount of aid went to Christian areas as opposed to other areas. Christian religious gatherings have also been targeted. They went in and said that the church could not have its function, and yet every day a mosque has hundreds of people come in and out with nobody there stopping them. Safety is a big concern. Christian advocacy group Open Doors says the number of Christians being murdered for their faith went up 60 percent. We had the pandemic, which caused military or governments or police uh, uh, policing groups to be stretched to the limits. So there's more opportunity to do bad. The numbers are grim. 340 million Christians face discrimination, 13 killed for their faith daily, and 12 churches or Christian buildings attacked. 45 countries scoring persecution levels rated as very high. The United Nations warning terrorists are exploiting the pandemic and the pain it has caused, aiding the recruitment. At the same time, because of restricted church attendance, it's harder to spread word of what's happening. So it becomes harder for the message, for the information to be delivered. Ed says a lot rides on that communication. It's how they inform, fundraise, and ultimately how they continue to fight for persecuted Christians across the globe. In Coney Island, Emily Druby, Currents News. If you're watching Currents News on YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe button and click on the bell to get updates to all of our newest content because we are putting your faith in the news.